All right, welcome back to Nugget Garage. Um, didn't get much done on this last week due to trying to come up with something witty to come back to Al at the skid factory with, but turns out we're not witty. And answering the question about the Supra, is the engine stock? Yeah, no. Mostly it's stock, the parts are stock, the heads are unported stock, but everything else is different. I don't really think you're gonna drive your saw around packing a thousand horsepower potential standard somehow. No? No. So, um, I spent an entire Saturday last weekend making this bloody radiator fit. Um, Chris wasn't here because he was on, um, what were you doing? At his daughter's birthday party or something. Um, it actually took a lot more work than what I thought. I had to clearance a lot more of the radiator support panel. I had to cut a lot of the bottom of the radiator support panel out. I made some pretty funky looking bottom radiator mounts that we won't put on camera crews because I'm not really happy with them. And then the radiator itself I had to move uh, outlets, um, the filler neck. I stuffed up one filler neck then cut another one off another Mishimoto radiator and then welded that onto it. Yay. Anyway, that's done. Um, trying to figure out whether I should paint it black or leave it raw. Of course, the two welds right in the front where you see like the first thing you look in the engine bay are the two worst welds that I did. So I'm kind of leading towards painting it black. Black fixes all. Um, and these are back. Mysteriously, there's one missing because I couldn't wait. <laughs> it had to go on so I could have a look. But they're black ceramic coated. Um, who's the guys at Brendel do that? Thermal Edge? Thermal Edge, yeah. Yeah. I may or may not have already trial fitted it. There's already a scratch. So I think that's the first thing I'll do this morning. We'll put that on, make sure the crossover pipe still fits. That way I can just make sure my wiring that I've done down the bottom here, which I haven't done is going to clear all the heat. You might notice on the inlet manifold also there's a lot more of that wiring people's hate fleece tape everywhere. I don't have hundreds of hours to spend on the loom so I just do it with that. If they don't like it, my car. <laughs> so pretty much the inlet manifold, all the sensors on top of the engine are all wired back to Deutsch plugs that are hid behind the manifold so Realistically, when I come to do my wiring montage, I just got to pull the wires through the hole and then pin them into a whole heap of Deutsch connectors, clip them together, done. Yeah. Quite a music. Hey? Is there a particular music you, you use for that one now? For the montage? Yeah. Something hip and modern. Yeah. Got to try and grow our subscribers. We're stuck at like, what, 41, 42? Oh, yeah. You're going to have to let our standards down a bit. You're going to have to start your own OnlyFans account. Didn't you say you wanted them to go? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to go up real quick. Um, alright. I'll put this manifold on. Do I need to do that you again? Mean, you mean the other one or the one, or this one that's already on? That you didn't tell anybody that you did because you can't wait. Uh, I also got a box of pain that turned up from my speed flow <laughs> supplier. I really love that stuff, but damn it's stingy. Yeah, that's, so, that's, that is actually, before uh, you started this project, that box is actually worth more than this car. Yeah, it is. Actually, I paid nothing for this car, so the cardboard box is worth more than the car. Fair mm. All right. All right, stuffed things. You don't want no crumbs between your layers. Three dark engine brake things. This is not working well at all. Because we painted everything black. Stop. I 
I finish this car now, because I need this hoist for my new car. It would have been fogged up and wouldn't have a clue what I was looking at. I just lost me nuts. The nuts? Oh, where did it go? Oh, I lost me bolt. I mean, it's industri over here. industry standard. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, I feel like I should be. But. <laughs> What's going on this morning? It's fine. Until you started <laughs> no, I was tired too. Feel this gas. Good one, Kev. Will it not? Will it not fit very well? Oh, you'll get it. You have to wait for the car to cool down. This isn't my next problem. It doesn't see it doesn't seal on any of the right edges. It's because it's a weird flange, right? Because the turbo is a weirdo. That's handy. Looks like it's just outwards. Is it inwards? Outwards. Sort of things. Do that. <laughs> oh, come on. What does not not fit now? Slightly worried about the efficiency of my air conditioning. It would be pointless if it didn't work. Ceramic coating's good, right? Show you in a couple of weeks. Hey. Wow. It's extra tight now that I made that noise. You get more thrust if you close your eyes, I'm just curious. I just don't want my eyeballs to pop out of my head. <coughs> oh. Oh. I'm a little bit faint. <laughs> oh. Oh. I do like it a bit. You do? <laughs> I hope so, you're going to be stuck driving it for God knows how long rest of time which for me is probably like a year a year and a half <laughs> This went in totally flawlessly when the camera wasn't on. So you say you don't have any proof on camera. Stuff is not lining up like it's supposed to at all. What do you mean? Um you done. Best case so scenario we can just 
rotate the watts a little bit. This is fun. Do you know how to fit a waistcoat beanie? No. I've never put a nappy on a waistcoat before. Also makes no sense to me. Fit. What about room down to the chassis rail down there? You guys still got it? Sure. That wiring's obviously going to have to go somewhere else. Um, well, it's very close. Yeah, it's getting bigger right now. It's fine. It's almost like you fitted this once before or when you made it. Or minus a little bit. Do you want to line up my gap? Sure, that's not weird at all. But let's just run with that. You'd be able to see my gap. Once it's cold, you should be able to fill my air conditioning. <laughs> if you don't wait for it to cool down, it's going to be burning. <laughs> How does one put a nappy on a... Just like that, look, you've done it. It's, it's nappified. It has a nappy. It's done. I think that's what the wire's for, you just wrap wire around it and hope it stays there. Wastecoat being... Well, you know, it's a shit's, thing. Shit's gonna get hot. Yeah. But, we knew that. Shit's gonna get real hot. Like a little spark box thing. What do you clean ceramic coating with? Glass cleaner? Ceramic co coating cleaner. I do have that. WD-40. You feel better about that now? This stuff's not cheap, man. What I'm not feeling good about is if you look down there, one of my V-bands decided to do a bit of a twisty instead of doing a tightening. Oh, Alright, so that all bolted on, it actually clears the chassis rail. I thought, I panicked there for a sec, but I forgot and bolted the housing on before I put the dump pipe on and there's a bit of play in the bolt holes. Uh, I wanted to put the compressor housing and core back in just so I could see, I moved this the other day, made a little bracket to hold it, trimmed it up, it's actually got, you know, 10 millimetres clearance there now, whereas it's sitting on it before. Um, also pulled this apart, removed some un required wiring and re ran a new power cable down to the, the starter post um, and ran the wires underneath it to the, to the alternator because we're going to use the original Cresita alternator excite and lamp wires. Well I'm going to make, I can't be bothered waiting for eBay to send me in but I've got to buy some or make some you know oil feed and oil drain little mounty plate things. Yeah. <laughs> Once on eBay, it'll probably work. Yeah, you know, but it'll take two weeks to get here. The whole September, I want a V12 and a Cressida oil drain kit. That, that the one? It doesn't even need to be that. I just need aluminium plates. I'll make them today. Then I can order the fittings. And then when this thing came apart, the V-band clamp broke. I was going to weld the two together, but I really don't think the internet can handle that. Or maybe my reputation, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a bolt off another clamp and weld it back to the other one and make it work again. Uh, and then that pretty much can all bolt up for good then, I think. I've got to order some oil feed and all drain lines today too. Radiatory stuff. 
Have, yeah. you, have you told the people about the radiator stuff? Yeah, I've got to actually just put two Deutsch connectors on the fan wires and then it can go in. Good. Have you told people about the radiator though? I can't remember. I did. Oh. It was this whole Saturday, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I remember because she went here. Yeah. I was. It's looking way fancier than what I anticipated. It does look good. And I think it looks better in real life than it does. The camera, well, um, you can't see anything on the camera. It just looks the like tubes. this black hole is shit in there with a the turbo sticking out the side of it. Anyway. One of these should turn up today. Apparently, SV20 something Camry is the same. Apparently. It's now double broken. So, Chris, <laughs> Chris broke one side, I broke the other. So we're even. So I basically just cut this bracket, moved it back that way an inch, and it should. Should clear, should. Otherwise, I'll just move it more. It's all good. All right. On to the next thing. All right. So this is the Franken radiator that I came up with last Saturday. Uh, I had to move and modify a 90 degree in the bottom outlet. Um, these things have these crappy rubber O-ringed drain points that leak. So I just take them out, weld it up. Um, I only had. 57 mil of room to fit 54 mil of fans between the radiator and the engine um, and I didn't want to bolt through the core because I don't like doing that it just ends up cutting the bloody radiator in half so I come up with this weird way of mounting the fans I call them like a wedge plate it's in there pretty stiff That's basically moving. basically I'm relying on the spout reliability you can't change them until you cut the plates off but it gives me three more clearance to the engine and it'll actually fit so it's the way it's going to be that uh, would suck if one doesn't work it's no biggie really yeah. you can you can kind of bend it you know. it'll, it'll be right What's the it's nothing what do you mean <laughs> the rods are going to come out before the Fans fail. <laughs> so we're going to go with raw, brushed. Brushed, brushed alloy. That's the look. I think it needs something to reflect the light, you know, so you can actually take a picture of it. Doesn't just look like the abyss. Guide me in. Ooh. It's all right. We've got plus or minus. One and, a half. <laughs> One and a half mil. Oh, this is something else I had to do too. These are the original um, condenser pin thingers. I had to kind of modify them. So we're using the same radiator brackets. We're using the same holes. Oh, and this. And that. Yeah, that had to be done. So I had to rebuild the clamp, and I, I thought I was going to have to make oil feed and oil drain plates, but out of more crap in, in my junk drawer I found them all. Even That's gases. Handy. This is all speed flow, 120 series hose. It's good to work that stuff, I love it. No lube record. But the reason why I'm telling you that is that had to be on before this. It's part it's part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> the jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. I've got to go underneath and line these dicks up with the fannies. Where you going? You know. Oh, we have a, we have a, a, a disturbance in the force. One, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. Two, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, we like it. Oh, isn't she pretty? Yeah, I think it needs to stay raw. <laughs> well, you made everything black, and now you're complaining that you can't get it on camera because it's no light to, re <laughs> no light reflecting. It's absorbing all the light. <laughs> <laughs> we should have went red and blue. Yeah. Nobody does red and blue anymore. <clears throat> My new car's got red and blue and black. Red and blue and black. Yep. In New York. Oh, that'll be a great mix. It's probably why it's For sale. still hasn't gone to that next bracket. It's 
not being held back by the past. Vibrations. Do you reckon if my engine mounts break, this will double as a an engine retaining pipe? I reckon the bonnet will. Got a hole in it. Next question. Should I have shortened that? Because it's going to be like... Oh, I reckon you should shorten that and make out all oh. you. Or I'll just go silicon to silicon with a joint. No, that'll look shit. I've got stainless, I've got shiny stainless. Would that be wrong? Nah, you mint. Yeah, no? Yeah, fine. Serious? I can't tell with you. <laughs> So that's the end of this week. Uh, it's been one of those videos again where, you know, didn't look like much happened. But the reality is the last, what looks like 5% of the work is probably 95% of the time, I'd say. Just everything is so fiddly and time consuming. And then you put one thing somewhere and then something else doesn't fit and it's just continuous problem solving. So I've just been nutting away with it. This week, Chris has been trying to film little bits of stuff, but I don't think he will stomach another 10 or 15 episodes of this crap and if we filmed it that's probably what would happen. Yeah. Um, so we have achieved quite a lot this week even though you couldn't see it. Um, everything's actually bolted in for good, manifolds in for good, intercooler pipes are on. Um, every sensor on top of the engine is wired. The only ones I have left to do really are oil pressures and fuel pressures which kind of aren't on top of the engine. The radiator is actually in for good. I've actually filled it with water only this time. I actually remembered not to put bloody cool on or antifreeze or glycol in it just in case there was a pinhole somewhere that I had to fix. But it's actually been sitting there all night and it doesn't have any leaks. I'm not saying that there won't be when there's pressure but so far so good. I also decided to try and pre-bleed the system by well, I had to make all this water tap pipe crap around here so I actually filled it from the back and let it flow right up through the engine and bleed all the air out. So with a bit of luck, it's actually already bled, ready to go, which means I won't be able to fit any glycol in it, but anyway. Um, <laughs> we've got a bit of a real estate problem happening at the back of the engine. There's like a shit ton of pipes and I don't have a shit ton of room left. So the next thing we've got to try and do is start getting, you know, I've got twin feed, twin return fuel rails. Um, I've got to get four different breather hoses well, two from this side back over this side. So reality is I've got to get four hoses somewhere behind here and I can't even stick a finger in there. So that's next next problem. I'm going to mount the regulator here. I was just making a bracket before off camera that sort of clamps over here and holds the regulator. Um, so what have we got to do next week then? That's fuel system-y stuff. Or, uh, I don't know if I can video that, that's boring as. Yeah, so it's a wiring though. But people yeah. reckon they want to see it. I don't know why. It's boring as hell. But there's wiring, exhaust, fuel system. Trans cooler. Trans cooler. I've already welded A and fittings onto the factory hard lines, so that's already for fittings and lines. Yeah, it's something else. Just really got to mount the cooler and plumb that up. That's one thing that'll probably just be done all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty boring, you're making lines. You want... There's another catch can that's getting mounted, made here. It's going to have four pipes coming into it and a breather and a triangulation bracket. No. No, because apparently this is going to fall off on my 100 kilometre rutted road <laughs> challenge. Um, and I've got to put the condenser fan back on. 
I've also got some the suspension in this thing is kind of balked it's old and crappy and there's not a whole lot of difference between putting coils and shocks and struts in it than putting coil overs in it it's not something I normally do but so, so you can go drifting uh, unfortunately I've had to take the sway bar off it and there's not room for a sway bar so I'm thinking and the additional weight we probably needed a higher spring rate in the front so it's going to have coil overs I know I'll be drifting it next. So that'll be two cars with coilovers. You know what that I makes? don't mind the ones in the Super, they're good. I've got like 70 series tyres, it'll take Put up... Put a manual in it too? No. Put a manual in it? No. Put it in the clutch, so you can kick it, yo. And um, just in case we didn't already have enough stuff going on, I think I'm getting a new car this weekend. Yeah. So maybe we can show a bit of that next week. What do you reckon? Yeah, we'll show them next time. Maybe. I don't know. It's it's the same but different but not it was kind of one of the things on our list of cars to build but it's already done yeah if that's a clue yeah i'm pretty it's, 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 it's i'm pretty excited about it actually yeah we'll leave we'll leave it there in ponder all right so i'm not going to do any work over the weekend on this we and should go for a breeze mm, somewhere and just enjoy cars yeah we should we should yeah all right we'll do that all right see you next week I've got to breathe, eh? That's, otherwise I'm just going to pass out. Maybe you should put your microphone on your hat. I've got big ears. That's going to hurt, dude. That's going to hurt, right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck it. It is what it is.